Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. I will take benefits any day. In Romans 6 from verse 15 to 23, the writer uses the analogy of slavery to describe our lives. Let us take a look at what Paul is saying in this passage. What is slavery? The most fundamental definition of slavery is forced labor enforced by a powerful class over a weaker group of persons. Some cultures used slaves as a form of debt payment. Others used slaves as a form of punishment for crimes, real or imagined. And still there are others who use slaves as prisoners of war. The most popular understanding of slavery consists of people who are captured and sold to the highest bidder and are forced to work under severely adverse circumstances without income so that those who own them are enriched. A slave is owned by someone. A slave is robbed of some basic rights and privileges. A slave is subject to substandard, inhumane lifestyle. Let us dive into the passage and explore the concept of benefits of being a slave. Number one, choose your form of slavery. Romans 6, 16 to 18 says, don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey, whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, you have come to obey from your heart the pattern of teaching that has now claimed your allegiance. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. Paul makes a case that shows that all of us are slaves, slaves to sin or slaves to righteousness. What is interesting is that he helps us to understand that we actually have a choice as to which slave we want to be, and that is characterized by our obedience. A slave is compelled to obey his master or disobedience is often met with severe punishment. Paul says that based on your obedience, you are declaring that form of slavery as your preference. He argues further that if you choose to be obedient to sin, that leads to death. But if you choose to be obedient to righteousness, that leads to life. By making the wise choice, you can be freed from slavery to sin, which leads to death. The second point he makes details of the choice romans 6 19 and 20. i am using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations just as you used to offer yourselves as slaves to impurity and to ever increasing wickedness so now offer yourselves as slaves to righteousness leading to holiness when you were slaves to sin you were free from the control of righteousness hmm. What does slavery to sin look like? He describes it as a life of impurity and wickedness. In fact, in the first chapter of Romans, he lists some of those activities, sexual immorality, greed, envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice, gossip, slanders, God-haters, insolence, arrogance, and boast. They, he says these are people who disobey their parents, they have no understanding, no fidelity, no love, no mercy. In fact, in one instance, he says that some people who are so obedient to sin that they invent some of the acts that are part of that form of slavery. The opposite form, slavery to righteousness, is characterized by a life leading to holiness. In another section of the Bible, he calls this form of slavery as producing the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Is this making sense so far? Maybe the question that is emerging is, which form of slave are you going to choose for yourself? Slave to sin with all those negative characteristics or a slave to righteousness which empowers you to be obedient to the far more honorable and beautiful lifestyle? Number three, the benefits of slavery. 
Now we come to the big deal. Romans 6, 21 to 23. What benefit did you read at, reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is it. This is the real deal. What benefit is there to be had in each form of slavery? If you choose to be obedient to the slavery of sin, Paul says that you are choosing death. He describes that form of slavery as one filled with all kinds of evil, ungodliness, pleasure, and more pleasure. But stop and listen to what he is saying. The lifestyle looks attractive now in the current, but if you look more carefully, the lifestyle is shameful. It is horrible to be known as someone who does those bad things, but it gets worse because he says that the ultimate benefit of that form of slavery is death. He calls it the wages of sin. Every form of slavery carries benefits, and in that case of sin, it is death, eternal separation from God. That is the kind of death that ends up in hell forever. On the other hand, the slave of righteousness is offered a great benefit package. He says that the benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. Now, holiness is not the most attractive lifestyle, but Paul is challenging you to not look at the immediate, but look down the road. This form of slavery, he says, results in you living forever with God in a life of total happiness. So, my friend, all of us who are slaves, all of us are slaves in one form or another. But which category are you in? Think wisely, not of what is current, but think of the long-term benefit. Choose to be a slave of righteousness, a slave that receives the benefit of eternal life.